All right, so let's move down and talk about m equals minus 1. If you think of a good name for this, let me know, because no one ever calls that anything. So uh, we can leave that blank. And uh, go ahead and talk about what the rate would be there and how we would write the rate law. And so the rate law then would be k, our rate constant, times the concentration of A raised to the minus 1. All right, if we double the concentration here, just uh, yell out what you think would happen. You would half the rate of the reaction. Or you could think about it as 2 to the minus 1, half the rate of the reaction. And you will have problems on problem set 10, which will be due a week from Friday, where you're going to be given experimental data. And you have to look at it and see, OK, what happened to the rate? And then what does that mean about the order of the reaction? So this is, this is a lot of what the problems are like uh, in, this, in this unit. All right, so uh, also there is no name that I'm aware of for when m equals minus a half. But we can write the rate law. So that's just going to be k times the concentration of A raised to the minus 1 half. Again, uh, for the order of reaction, they can be integers, they can be fractions, they can be negative, and they can be positive. So uh, tell me for doubling the concentration here of this one, what's going to happen uh, to the rate? Okay, let's just take 10 more seconds. Yep, so most people got that right. <laughs> so if we go back here, 0.7 times the rate, you could think about this as 2 raised to the minus 1 half. 